Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a lip swatch and a review of the Mars Cosmetics Edge of Desire lip liners. Now these are sold as a set and individually as well and I have picked out the set which consists of 10 different shades. For foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I'm 310 Sun Beige. Now, if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notified whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right on the video. So let's quickly go over with the features of these lip liners. Now it says that this eye and lip liner gives a finished outline, pigmented dual use pencil, has a smooth and creamy texture, it draws velvety smooth lines and it blends easily. Now it's light in weight and travel friendly, long lasting and long wearing and lastly it ranges from nude to pop colors. Now individually these are priced at 59 rupees wherein as a set the price is kind of different, it varies from website to website. So put a pin on this, I will come back to this point in some time but when I bought these it was priced at 490 rupees for the set of 10 and these have about 12 grams of product. So this is how the packaging looks like. It is color coordinated with a black cap and at the side itself you have the shade name and number and it does not come with a sharpener. However, you can use any pencil sharpener. It will work absolutely fine. And now let's finally move on to the lip swatches.
all right so let's go over with the formula the pros and the cons now firstly these are very creamy and very smooth when you apply them on your lips which is great now these are extremely comfortable and light on the lips at the same time it was quite pigmented as well so it was pretty easy for me to apply these all over my lips Oh, and also if you apply it all over your lips, it settles into a semi-matte finish. Now, since these are creamy, it is not transfer proof. Like for example, it does transfer a little, but at the same time, the color is intact on my lips. There's no patchiness or anything of that sorts. Now, just for shits and giggles, I applied the lip liner all over my lips, like how I've done right now, and I had a heavy meal. And this is how it looks like. And as you guys can see, the outer line is remaining. But if you do press your lips together, you will get like a sheer coverage of the original color. Now, I really love the fact that these are sold individually and it is sold as a set as well. And the biggest pro for me, in my personal opinion, that after some time, if you do press your lips together, it does not become crumbly or grainy or patchy or anything of that sorts which is great and lastly for the removal of these lip liners you can literally just use like a wet wipe and it comes off pretty easily and now for the fii there is just one point and that is to do with the price fluctuation because on their own website these are sold for like 590 rupees like the set of 10 wherein on flipkart i saw it was like 490 rupees and then on nika it was 420 rupees even though it was out of stock it shows that it retails for 420 rupees so yeah fii if you're planning to buy it i will suggest to buy wherever the price is cheaper also on a side note i have not used these as like an eye pencil but if i do then i'll add it up like a shorts or something of that sort so yeah hey guys so i forgot to mention just one other point is that if you're planning to buy individually choose the colors wisely because the shade number four and five they do look kind of identical on the lips there's just very minor differences and so is the shade number six and seven now they both are red wherein six is more like a pure red and seven is like a pink based red but on the lips again it looks almost identical so if you're planning to buy individually choose either one of them and lastly for the cons there is just one point that as per usual there are no swatches available online at all which would have been easier for a consumer to pick and choose the right shades so yeah that is a con for me so overall in my personal opinion i do love and highly recommend these lip liners i was honestly not expecting it to be this smooth and pigmented and i do actually see myself wearing it as a lipstick on its own so the colors are also very pretty but yeah do bear in mind that if you're planning to buy it buy it wherever it's cheaper because when i picked it up off of flipkart it was only 379 rupees so yeah these were my thoughts on the mars edge of desire lip liners and this finally wraps up today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my best for you as well as follow me on my socials which are on instagram and which are on twitter as well so until next time take care bye